What is up YouTube? It's your girl Orlando Coupon Queen and we're in a whole different environment. So I feel like it's safe enough for me to finally give you guys the well-needed stockpile tour. Um, I've been holding off on posting it only because I was getting a lot of backlash right in the beginning of COVID and the whole quarantine situation over my toilet paper, which I had stock up on it months way before the whole COVID situation happened. So I actually spent over four hours organizing it and cleaning it yesterday. So I'm kind of happy. I feel better. I can sleep at night and it's so much neater like i'm looking at it because i have it like front and backwards but front and back so i don't know anyways also don't mind my hair i have been doing like some hair wax but i kind of like the outcome it's kind of pretty it's temporary so i can just easily like wash it off so i did like purple and like some pink and i don't know how i feel about it but i kind of like it so far anyways this might be a very short video only because of course, that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to use the um, my porch lighting for lighting. So it is going to storm like within the next like three minutes because this is Florida. Um, and then also you guys might hear a loud humming noise in the background. That's just my fish tank. I have a huge fish tank and my bird might pop up every now and then and then of course my dogs so i have a lot of going on but i thought that it would be fun just to kind of do like a little walkthrough on my stockpile so let's get to it so believe it or not my whole stockpile is in my living room um a lot of people call me crazy because i don't have an average living room i have my stockpile as my living room i don't have any tvs in here um a lot of people ask me okay so then where do you go and watch tv and hang out honestly i'm always on my computer in the office um if not then i'm in my room with my tablet and just watching tv we don't really if we do watch movies we're we'll all just bunch up in my room and lay in bed and just watch movies from there or if not we're always out in the road anyway so yes my living room is my stockpile and i kind of like it like this i mean not a lot of people come to my house anyways so i just have it here and it's just convenient to me i feel like it's my little mini store so going a little bit more this is what my living room see the little tripod there i have a pool view where my condo's at and this is basically how it looks my dog might be crying because for some reason every time it's thunderstorming she likes to cry and i don't know why so she like wants to go beat up the thunderstorm i don't know we'll never understand i know i'm going to get this question asked a lot is where do i get my shelves so i got these shelves at walmart okay i have two different shelves i have these here that i got from walmart and then these with the black and yellow i got these from home depot because it was a great deal one day on them so i decided to buy more but this side is from home depot and this side is from walmart and i believe they're only like 39 dollars. i'll post the link below in the description so you guys can see how much they are but i know they're not any more than 40 dollars so i have my feminine products up in the top along with my little bit of toilet or not toilet paper but paper towels um two boxes of those diapers there i'm running low um and then my probably my favorite part of my stockpile is my airwick so i have a lot of airwick and i had a lot more um covid has honestly depleted my stockpile a lot um but i've been slowly trying to stock back up and these i had a lot of them i think i had over a hundred of them and i now have just this 
um what else then we have my snuggle which i love my snuggle and then these here my oh my dog is so scared and then going down here we have more laundry detergent and my fabuloso i love my fabuloso my pods my priscilla and then we have my laundry softener there and then some more diapers and then a little bit of the feminine products there only because they didn't fit in the other side of my stockpile then this right here is my school supplies so i do stock up hard on school supplies so my school supplies is like my everything because i am pretty much well stocked up for until my kids are probably like in high school um i haven't really spent any money on school supplies any of my children's years my oldest daughter will be entering sixth grade and then my youngest will be entering third grade so i haven't spent any money on school supplies so school supplies there's always coupons and i honestly would say to wait until after school starts to buy any school supplies because a lot of the school supplies a lot of the school supplies will go 90 percent off so i have a lot i have so many crayons and every year honestly i do try to kind of like sponsor a child or two here in orlando so if you're in Orlando, I will be posting that on my Instagram page when I decide to go ahead and donate. So I have it all. You name it, I got it. I have it all. Over here, there's a little bit more school supplies. I just have more. I have backpacks. I have binders. I have these um, markers, a lot of folders. And then even on here, I have a whole bunch of notebooks and more folders more folders those are my little wax warmers but more folders and a lot more notebooks in there too so these are like a lot more of the composition notebooks and a lot of the notebooks here walking over here on this side i have kleenex again i use these for back to school whenever the teachers ask for kleenex i have them there and then more napkins over here i have men's deodorant show my shaving cream dove products and then my mountain of toothpaste so this is another question that i get a lot is why do you have so much when there's an expiration date so to be honest with you i don't follow the expiration dates on the boxes whatsoever so if you were to like google like how long does toothpaste last past the expiration date it does last way longer than what the expiration date you know has or whatever same thing with mouthwash and everything so honestly out of my whole entire stockpile the only thing that i would be worried in expiring would probably be the toothpaste um i know a lot of people were talking about I think like more of the laundry detergent expiring, but that would kind of like take a long time. Also, my stockpile is indoors and my temperature indoors is normally around 74 degrees um, all day, every day. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, then coming over here, I have it sorted to just body wash and then lotion over here all these hair products to be honest with you i don't even use it i sometimes sell these hair products just so that i can afford my hair stuff if that makes sense um i use not your mother's because it's really natural and everything i have used the hoblands before but i'm just more of a not your mother's fan um over here i did post this like two days ago on my instagram page so i hope that you guys scored for this these were only a dollar 97 each and this is like my favorite gel so i stocked up because these are normally 6.99 each over here we have my it's a feather there my razors so my razors is another thing that's probably been a little bit depleting ever since covid um i try not to use so much razors but my husband loves using women's razors because they're a little bit more better for like sensitive skin and everything so my razors have been depleting um and then over here i have some like little toothbrushes and then as you see there's still stuff in the bags 
some of my clearance finds my dog wants to be over here a lot of the um, dog treats that don't expire anytime soon and then over here we have some oh my god my dog she's scared of thunderstorms so she's just like all up in my face right now so over here we have some copy paper that i actually had gotten one of these well each of these for 75 cents so each a little pack only 75 cents and then as you guys see i'm actually running out of toilet paper so i know um a couple months ago right when covid just started my stockpile was probably of toilet paper was up to like there where my hand is at and now it's right there so i'm getting a little worried because i haven't really seen a lot of great toilet paper deals maybe at walgreens but not as much as there was before so my next thing that i need to stock up on is toilet paper asap and then these i have them out because as i was cleaning out my stockpile i don't use dry shampoo i was seeing how much these actually go for on ebay and these are actually going for about eight dollars each and i had gotten these at target like about two years ago completely free so i was taking them out because i don't use it and i was going to resell it on ebay um but i have those there i have more somewhere else but i don't know where it's at and then we have our favorite dog food that i stocked up so much on that this is all i have left i stocked up on this dog food about I want to say about five to six months ago and i had gotten a hundred bags and this is what's left so my dogs eat like crazy and that is what i have left then we have my corner of clearance so to be honest with you every little tote is filled with clearance finds so this one up here is my halloween clearance and then um, the one in the red is from my Ross. So remember when everybody went crazy in January at Ross? So the red is filled with Ross merchandise. Um, I think the third one down is Christmas. Uh, the other one, the pink one over there is baby items. The second to last is toys. And then the one all the way in the bottom is more Christmas, like Christmas gifts and everything like that. These right here, I forgot what's in there, but I know it's more of the clearance items. I just haven't really gone through it. But yeah, this corner over here, I need to do something with it. Um, I will be probably donating a lot only because I've been in the more giving mood this year. So stay tuned this isn't in my stockpile only because it's in my little cart so that i can get ready to go ahead and donate it but this is just a bunch of cat food that i had gotten at publix for only a dollar each so it's rachel ray and i think rachel ray is um about six dollars each a bag but i had gotten it for only a dollar and it's in this little cart thingy because i'm getting ready to donate it so that's why that's not in my stockpile so that is it for my little mini stockpile tour. I know, like I said, a lot of you guys requested it, especially for the ones that don't really follow me on Instagram and all that. So that is my lovely stockpile tour. I hope nobody unsubscribes to my channel because I'm showing my toilet paper again. Um, that day was crazy. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so let me know what other type of videos you guys kind of want to see other than like couponing videos, I guess. Um, but yeah, I have now that it's more organized and cleaned, I'm thinking about doing more videos, um, especially in front of my stockpile, just to teach you guys more about couponing and how to look for deals. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Orlando Coupon Queen, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button here on my channel. Thank you for watching, guys. I love y'all. Bye.